right, friends, here we are again for the one and only Ivan. We're starting on page 180, and this is called Going Nowhere. I watch Ruby plod around the ring in endless circles, going nowhere. More visitors have been coming, but not many. Max says Ruby's not picking up the slack after all. He says he's cutting back on our food. He says he's turning off the heat at night to save money. Ruby looks thinner to me, more wrinkled than Stella ever was. Do you think Ruby's eating enough? I asked Bob. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. You're sure as heck painting enough. Bob wrinkled his nose. That stench is unbelievable. And I found yellow paint in my tail this morning. Bob isn't happy about my night painting. He says it's unnatural. Now, while I work at my art, Bob sleeps on knot tag. He claims he prefers her because she doesn't snore. He says her belly doesn't rise and fall and make him seasick. What's this? What is this plan of yours anyway? Bob asked. If you explained it to me, I could help out. He gnaws at his tail. Maybe I could come up with something that doesn't involve, you know, pain. I can't explain it, I tell him. It's an idea in my head, but I can't get it right. And anyway, I'm almost out of supplies. I should have known I wouldn't have enough. I kick at my tire swing. It's spattered with drops of blue paint. It's a stupid idea. I doubt that, Bob says. Smelly, yes. Stupid, never. Page 182, bad guys. Most of the day I doze. Later in the afternoon, Mac approaches. Bob slips under knot tag. He prefers to keep a low profile around Mac. Mac's gaze falls on my pool. A corner of one of his paintings is a corner of one of my paintings is visible. What's that, big guy? He asks. I calmly eat an orange, ignoring him, but my heart is racing. Mac kicks at my plastic pool. Underneath are all the paintings. Mac yanks on one piece of paper. It slips out easily, and he doesn't seem to notice the other paintings. The page is striped with green, which is which is what happens when blue paint and yellow paint get together. It's supposed to be a patch of grass. Not bad, where are you getting the paint anyway? George's kid, he considers. Hmm, I bet I can get 30 for this picture, maybe even 40. Matt turns on, on my TV. It's a Western. There's a human with a big hat and a small gun. He has a shiny star pinned to his chest. That means he is the sheriff and he will, get, he will be getting rid of the bad guys. If this sells quick, I'm getting you some more of that paint, buddy, Max says. He walks away with my painting, Ruby's painting. For a moment, I imagine what it would feel like to be the sheriff. There's the sheriff badge on the picture. Page 184, add. Good news, huh? Bob says when Max out of earshot. Looks like you might be getting more supplies. I don't want to paint for Mac, I said. I'm painting for Ruby. You can do both, Bob says. You're an artist after all. While I watch the movie, I try to come up with a new hiding place for my paintings. Maybe, I think, I could fold them once they're dry and stuff them into knot tag. It's a long movie. At the end, the sheriff marries the woman who owns the saloon, which is a watering hole for humans, but not horses. It's been a long time since I've seen a Western, and that was... a. a it's been a long time I've seen a Western that was also a romance. I liked that movie, I said to Bob. Too many horses, not enough dogs, he comments. An ad comes on. I don't understand ads. They're not like Westerns where you know who the bad guy is supposed to be. And they're hardly ever romantic unless the man and the woman are brushing their teeth before they face lick, which remember was kissing in guerrilla language. I watch an ad for underarm deodorant. How do you know who, how do you know who's who if they don't smell? I asked Bob. Humans reek, Bob replies. This just, they just don't notice because they have incompetent noses. Another ad comes on. I see children and their parents buying tickets, just like the tickets Max sells. They laugh, enjoy their ice cream cones as they walk down a path. They pause to watch two sleepy eyed cats, huge and striped, dozing in long grass. And we're going to stop right there on page 186 of the one and only Ivan. I'll be recording another video for you guys today and I'll see you soon.